once summer kicks into full gear, we're really going to need some activities to keep the kids busy, aren't we, Hoda? Yes, we are, dear. So who should we call to help us out? Hmm. How about lifestyle expert Ashley Bellman? I bet you she's got some great crafty ideas for adults and grown-ups. Hey, Ashley. Hi, it's so good to see you guys. We you like your house. house. Okay, <laughs> thank so, you. Um, I love seeing yours too. <laughs> well, why don't we start off with diamond painting? What is that? Okay, so this is the new must-have craft. Everybody's talking about this. And it's essentially these little resin diamonds, right? You get this adhesive canvas, and then one by one you put them on. So it's kind of like a cross between cross-stitch and paint-by-numbers. I will say if you have little kids, definitely put this in another room. This is something with a lot of small pieces, and it's not something you'll finish in one sitting. So you want to come back to this. This took me about a week to complete on and off but it is very intricate and it does really occupy your mind. And then when you're finished, the end result is very rewarding because it takes a lot of time. <laughs> I like it. It's like a bedazzler. Okay, so yeah. also, you say that there are an adult paint by numbers taking it taking yes. us back. Yeah, so this is by a brand called Pink Picasso. It comes in this cool cylinder, everything you need. You get the canvas, you get the paint, the paint brushes. Another thing that's probably gonna take some time but I like the idea that maybe you can have one at your house, send one to your mom or your best friend, and then you could organize a oh. virtual wine and paint night. And then you get this beautiful piece of art when it's done. Oh, that's cute. I, I kind of like the next thing, which is paint by stickers. <laughs> yes. So this is something for the whole family. This was my favorite as well. So I made these cute little animals. This doesn't take that much time and it's kind of like a puzzle. You get 10 different cardstock animals and then you put the stickers on where they go. And it's really pretty. You could frame this too and the kids will feel like really accomplished that they completed the art project. So if you've been looking at Instagram and really I think everybody has, there's been lots of people making bread during the quarantine. Yes, bread making is the must the thing that you have to do in quarantine apparently and this is a way that you can do it again with the whole family and really learn the science behind bread making so this is this dough lab kit and you create three different loaves and you get to see the difference that happens when you put the salt in one when you put the sugar in one the yeast oh. in the other so it's like really cool to see what the ingredients do and don't worry they all taste good you could eat them all so nice little taste testing at the end the one without the salt though you might need some oil and butter to make it a little better <laughs> well here's the funny thing i was i was kind of thinking about throwbacks because a lot of throwbacks are in do i see a throwback light bright today yes, yes. I you love do I love the light bright too. This one is cool, new and improved because it's battery activated so you don't have to have it plugged in. But all the things that we know and love from the classic craft. So you have six different stencils, little pegs to plug in. You could create your own design, of course. But I love this because then you could put your art on display and it's fun because it has that nostalgia to it. Mm -hmm. Okay, my kids are into to makeup, which is just really lip balm, but you can <laughs> actually make your own lip balm. I don't, how do you do that? Okay, this is so fun and it's so easy. I love a good easy craft. Your girls will love this. So what you do is you get, the, it comes with everything you need. You have the balm base and then all of the flavors. You mix the flavors in with the base, you melt it down, you pour it into the little tubes, put it in the freezer. And then while it's in the freezer, you decorate the little labels that it comes with. I had stickers lying around the house, so I put some stickers on there. And they smell so good super moisturizing and then it's mm. fun because I feel like I'm always losing my lip balm too so it's nice to have extras lying around cool all right talk to us about succulents people like okay. those yeah, I like, I like how you said succulents Hoda too <laughs> I did too <laughs> so this is great because and you don't have to have a green thumb because I do not I like to have plants around the house though and this is cool because you it's really easy it comes with everything you need it has the soil pods it has the seeds you plant them and then you watch them grow and then it has this little thermometer if you can see the soil's dry or too wet or whatever it is but you learn a little thing or two like I didn't know you had to soak seeds to make them better for growing so oh, it's I cool didn't. Hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> also, who doesn't love a good candle? I didn't know you could make your own. This sounds cool. Right. It's not, this was actually my favorite. I love to burn candles and it was just really cool. So you melt down the wax. It's soy wax. You have essential oils so you can choose your scent. I did a lavender theme with the lavender scent and the purple and the purple tin, which I think is such a really pretty display. So great to have around the house, but also a really cool gift idea and a little more sentimental knowing that you made it. So it comes from the heart and you, um, 
they'll always think of you when you're burning it, which is fun. Ashley, you rock, honey. Yes. Thank you for all these things. They're all perfect. Get your creative juices flowing. Something fun okay. to occupy your mind. Thank you, Ashley. And to get all these products, you, you can go to they.com slash shop.